Titans have won four in a row after the come from behind victory over Washington. John, as you analyzed the tape, what pleased you the most about the win last weekend? Yeah, I think it was the resiliency uh, of our football team, the way our players um, just continued to, to fight and, and come up with plays and, fi and find a way to win. You know, it, it, this is a tough league. It's tough to win every week. And we're just really proud of our coaches, our players, and our fans for staying in it there till the end. Lots of different guys keep coming through for this football team. The guy who caught the game-winning touchdown pass, tight end Michael Pruitt, is a guy that a lot of Titans fans don't know. So tell them, who is Michael Pruitt? Yeah, he's been in the league. You know, he's bounced around uh, with a couple teams over his career. Um, out of Southern Illinois, Minnesota drafted him. He ran fast at the Combine. Uh, he was in training camp with, with Houston. And then when Delaney went down, he was on their practice squad. We reached out about coming on uh, to our active roster on the 53-man. You know, he's had a solid year for us. He, he's worked hard. Had a great game against Washington. Caught a pass in six straight games, actually. Yep. Speaking of statistics, another good performance from linebacker Wesley Woodyard. Double-digit tackles, another sack. Uh, this is a guy who's gone over a thousand tackles in his career just in the last couple weeks. But Wesley Woodyard is about more than stats. What does he mean to your defense and to your entire football team? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think he, he's such a grounded presence with his, with his uh, veteran leadership. He's a captain, you know, and he, he still brings that same attitude every single day to work. I assume he had coming out as an undrafted, you know, linebacker out of Kentucky to make, to make the Denver squad. He's a guy we can count on. He knows what to do. He plays fast. He helps the younger guys. He's good on the field. He's great in the community. Former Walter Payton Man of the Year. Glad he's on this football team. You're playing Indianapolis this weekend. It's the second time that you've played him. And I wonder, when you take on division opponents for a second time, is the biggest thing that you use to prepare the first game that you played against that division opponent? Yeah, I mean, you certainly look at that and you analyze that and you break it down, see what went, went wrong and, and, you know, maybe some things that you can build on that, that were positives for you. But you really look at the last scope of games that, that they played and see how they're adjusting to this formation or how, you know, how they're tailoring maybe this blitz and, and try to get a beat on, on, on what they're doing currently. Indianapolis started the year one and five. They come to Nashville this weekend, nine and six. What have they done so well to win eight of their last nine? Defensively playing really well, you know, really flying around. I think they're in the top 10 in several statistical uh, categories. Offensive line continues to do well. I think they've allowed the fewest sacks in the NFL, so they're protecting Luck. You know, and, and Luck's been on fire. You know, he's finding those playmakers around him. You know, Max running the ball hard. They've got a lot of, you know, they got a lot of weapons on that side of the ball. All right, so finally, to get to 10-6, and six, to end the season on a five-game win streak, how do the Tennessee Titans knock off the Indianapolis Colts? Yeah, I think defensively for us, we've got to continue to, to play, de uh, play team defense. You know, we've got to create turnovers. That's been key for us, you know, the last couple of weeks here. Offensively, you know, we've got to establish that the run game. We've got to do a good job of protecting the quarterback. You know, we've got to get open and make some explosive plays down the field.